Come on in the room. Come on in the room. See if I can wait and get some people in. Oh, man. Hey, 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 how y'all doing? Hey, Nikki. Hey, what's going on, um, Black 68? How you feeling? Chi-Chi, what's up? What's up? I hope all is well, and I'm upset. What's wrong with you? Why are you going to come up over here talking about you upset? Who then peed you off? Angela, how you doing? All the way from Nashville. Lisa D is in the building. What's up, sis? Lisa D, how you doing? I hope you're doing good, sis. I hope you're doing good. Who is Ra Raquel Welsh? I don't know that one. I got to go Google that person. Maybe I might know it by face. Wow. What's good? What's up, in the Mozone? How you doing? G Rich is in the building. What's up, bro? Y'all go check out my brother, my big brother, G Rich, over there and see what G Rich done cooked up. I know he done cooked up something good. Yo, bro, G Rich, I didn't, I'm in here experimenting in the kitchen, bro. I'm hoping that this recipe will at least be good. <laughs> Cause if it's good, I'll make a video on it next time. That's all I do is try to experiment just to see what I could do in the in the kitchen with flavors. Hey, Miss Stubbs, how you doing, Miss Stubbs? So many of our people are dying. That's true. Uh huh. That is so true. Nikki Star saying, what's up from Maryland, all the way from Maryland. You say she's a movie star? Raquel Welsh. You know, I heard that name now since you didn't brought up the fact that she was um, an actress. I got to see the face. The name is familiar now, but I got to see the face. No more boots. I <laughs> say so you sneaking at work. Oh Lord, you seeking this one at work? Don't don't get in trouble now. Got my sister no more boots in the building. I love that woman. Super intelligent eight from the from the future. She was fine as hell. You need some collard greens in your life. I hope these collard greens is good. Either they either they're gonna be stomach worthy or trash worthy. Either one. Either one. They're gonna be stomach worthy or trash worthy. Hey, thank you, G. That's my brother. <laughs> Ray to the Mac. Tiff, you better get it, girl. See what you cooking up now. I'ma show y'all, man. I'm experimenting, right? And Quick. I already been put the stuff together and I got it on the stove cooking. You know what I'm saying? I already got it on the stove cooking. But and I'm experimenting. So in here, I got me some collard greens. And my collard greens ain't like everybody else's where they be big and chunks. I like mine sliced up in the little um strips or whatever. After I done cleaned them, took the stem out of them, and I rolled them. And I sliced them up. But in here, I got some country ham, right? And then I got some smoked sausages. And then I ended up putting in a little bit of Old Bay Cajun seasoning and some other little extra stuff, eyes and ends or whatever like that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to let this thing... All right, see, take care, bro. Love you, man. And I'm um, trying to let this thing cook down now for about a good hour and a half to two hours. So... I got about another 45 minutes to go. So, as you can see, I got those big chunks of smoked sausages in there. 
You know what I mean? And I know that sometimes, man, we all, we be putting, like, smoked turkey in it, man. Smoked turkey wings, smoked drumsticks, ham hock, hog jowl, fat back. We put all kinds of meats in our greens. So the only thing I did is I took me some um, country ham. If y'all know the country ham, they got that little one center bone. Um, smoked country ham, I took that and I just cut it up in strips. And then I just went and took a smoked sausage, man, and basically cut it up in some in a nice um, size or whatever. And I just want to let this cook out and see um, what kind of flavors I can get out of this. I never had greens cooked with smoked sausage in it before. And I've seen a lot of other um, people, man, like on Instagram, Facebook, online or whatever like that. And some people have cooked with the smoked sausage. But since I've never cooked with it, I'm experimenting with it just to see um, how it would taste. I'm pretty sure that the smoking is from that um, that pork, um, that sausage would give it a nice little flavor, it's, especially with extracting some of that, that grease out of it. And I used um, a little special ingredients that I done fixed up. And I'll tell it to you if this thing is okay. If it's stomach worthy, then I'll go ahead and make a video. If it's trash worthy, then it's just going to be what it is. It's going to be trash. So I'm hoping I ain't, I ain't break a lot of money. You know, I ain't spent a lot of money for these collars. And um, um, I'm, I should have I should have did this, y'all. Let me just go through these comments right quick, and I'm gonna try to I'm gonna share something with y'all real quick. Let's see, Chi Chi say she is from um, New Jersey. New Jersey now. What part of New Jersey are you from? I went to Newark. That's the only part of New Jersey I basically ever set my foot on was in Newark, New Jersey. Hey, what's going on, India? How you doing? Um, do you cook? What's this here? Dangler, Danglo, any of them greens? I don't even know it. Dandelion greens. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. Huh. Now, huh. okay. I'm going to make sure I got this one right. Because I'm going to answer this question. Do you cook dandelion greens? Same as collard greens. Now, I hope you're still in here. All right. Um, into Mozone. Is that right? Into Mozone, you still here? You still here? Because if you are, I want to answer your question real quick. And I do got a question to ask you. I do have a question to ask you. So I'm going to wait and just to see if you're going to answer back. All right, Into Mozone, I think that's your name. Are you here? Because you say, do you cook dandelion greens, the same as collard greens? <sighs> I'm trying to wait to see if you're going to respond back because I want to answer that question. But yet, I want to see exactly if we're on the same page as far as those greens go. All right, so I don't see the response. So I'm going to keep on going. And are you hollering uh, my name wrong? Oh, India. Did I say India? Is that wrong? Your name wrong? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Brother, wear glasses. And then again, I'm illiterate. Uh, the devil is a liar. <laughs> the devil is a liar. Let me say, Big Sweet 360, Ray Mac. What's up, brother? What's going on? How you feeling, man? <laughs> What's going on? Well, let me say I enjoy a lot of your cooking. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you. Thank you. I do appreciate you. I'm just glad that you're able to watch some of my stuff. And I that do. I do appreciate it. What's going on, baby? What you cooking? What am I cooking? I'm cooking some um, greens. What you about to eat? A sandwich. A sandwich? Okay. And let's see, let's see, you cook so good. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I really do appreciate that. I learned from my big brother, G. Rich. If you want to know how I learned, go over there, check out G. Rich. And I'm telling you right now, that brother over there cooking up some mean stuff. Him and um, Risa Richardson 
His wife, yeah, you behind my ear, girl, mooching and smooching. Look at her. my granddaughter. She over there behind my ear, smooching and all that stuff, munching back. Let's see. I'm still trying to read comments. Love and not hate. What, what, what? You better say it. Caught you live. Yep, yeah, but here's the thing. I'm not cooking live today. I am not. But I could. I could. Let me, yeah, I could. I could do these chicken wings real quick. Throw them in the air fryer. But I am going to make a video on the chicken wings. But I'm going to show y'all what I got going on with the chicken wings real quick. Real quick. Hello from Philadelphia. Philly's in the building. Y'all made my brother G. Rich cook some sandwiches. Some Philly cheesesteaks because he lost that bet. Man, but them sandwiches was looking good. I ain't going to lie to you now. Them sandwiches were looking good. But I'm so glad that Philadelphia lost. Ha! Glory. Kansas, from, for those of y'all who are Kansas City fans and you might live in the region of Kansas City, I want to say congratulations to you. I'm just so happy that Philadelphia didn't win it. I'm so thankful that you guys really beat them. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> Peppers. DC, no, I didn't put no peppers in it. The only peppers I put in here was red peppers. I don't care too much for, for peppers in my greens unless they're going to be like the um the little spicy peppers. You know what I'm saying? But no red bell peppers or no green bell peppers or nothing like that. I don't care too much for that in my greens. Anything other than my greens, I'll eat it. But no, no green peppers or bell peppers. And my greens, I'm sorry, you know, I just wasn't raised on that like that, you know what I mean? Lisa D, yeah, that's going to be good, just put some bacon grease in there. Bacon grease, I don't have, but I put something else in there other than bacon grease. Oh, wee. <laughs> oh, wee. I did, I did, I put something in there other than bacon grease. If it works out. Then I'm going to do a video and show you what I put in there. If it don't work out, I can't show you because I wouldn't want you to try something that I don't like. Never thought of that. Definitely stomach worthy. My boy um, looks so good. Um, love and not hate. What's up? Hey, what's going on? What's going on? My girl's cooking with Pam. Cooking at Pam's place is in the building. Pam, you is blowing up. Girl, you got that dag on. TikTok on lock, Instagram on lock, YouTube on lock. Congratulations on that play button. Whatever you're doing, girl, you better keep on, keep on, keeping on. Because I'm telling you right now, you is blowing up. Good God, you blowing up. Keep going. Y'all go check out Cooking at Pam's Place. My sister over there doing it up, and she's giving y'all some foodie tips. <laughs> the, the best foodie tips in the whole wide world. I'm about ready to copy you, Pam, with some foodie tips on TikTok. I ain't lying. You is blowing up. Let's see. Yeah, I am in, what's this here? Bradley Beach, New Jersey. Okay, okay, okay. <coughs> How you doing, Sheree? Work hard today? Hey, Team Cooks, what's going on? Happy Tuesday to you as well. Happy, happy Tuesday. Ray Mac, your Southern stew chicken is one of my favorite recipes. I've made it a few times already. Straight fire. That's what I'm talking about, Big Sweet. I love it. I love that chicken stew too, man, because I was going to end up making some of that. I bought some chicken thighs, mm -hmm. and I was going to make some, but I had a change in plan. Because I had these chicken wings already marinating. I say, ain't no use for me making all kind of proteins when I still have something ready to, to um, rock and roll with. So I bought the chicken thighs and I still got them and I put them in the fridge. So I'm going to end up making me some um, stewed chicken sometime probably this week. <laughs> but I do have a craving for it. That might be a meal prep for me. I'm trying to keep it going with the meal preps. And... Cooking with Pam, speaking to G. Rich and Lisa. Great people, great people. That's what's up, Newark in the house. India, you still here? 
Indy, you still here? I'm, I'm gonna share a story, <laughs> a story with you, with you real quick about Newark, New Jersey. You still here? I'm going to wait for India right quick, y'all, just to see if India is, is still here real quick. I want to share a story with them. And then I'm going to show y'all my little chicken wings that I got sitting over here, man. I'm going to put them babies in the air fryer. So I'm just going to have some air fried chicken wings. Hopefully, if these greens turn out okay, I eat them with the greens. And um, I, I don't got to have all kinds of sides with these things, man. That, I'm just content even with that. I can just eat the greens by themselves and still be be all right okay so i didn't see no response from india maybe if i change up something just to see if these comments are coming through like they supposed to let's see do, 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 do. and all right so let me go ahead and read these other comments i'm gonna go right back up here Right back up here to India and where I stopped at. All right. So, K. Alexander. Hello from Houston, Texas. What up? What's going on? <laughs> oh, man. Pope salad greens. That's exactly what dandelions is right there. Poke salad, greens. That's what I wanted to ask her. That's what I wanted to ask her right there. That's what I wanted to ask her. If um, if she was um talking about poke salad, because I don't know, a lot of people don't don't know, but in the country, in the country, now to be honest with you, I've never ate poke salad. You know what I'm saying? And it's just wild weed. That's what I call it, wild weed. And it's like those when when they, she made the comments dandelion, um, um, greens. That's the only thing I could think of. Now back in the days, back in the days, the old folk here they used to go outside and get that poke salad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they would go and pull it from out of the ground, clean it up real good. Next thing you know, they either mixing it up with other greens like turnip greens or mustard greens or even collard greens and some even cook them up by themselves or whatever the case may be. Now, just in case y'all didn't know, man, when I seen some of the people, man, cook poke salad or even greens back in my particular point in time, being countryfied as I am, we didn't use bacon grease. You know what I'm saying? We only had um, a couple of options, and those options was either chicken grease or lard, or lard, however y'all pronounce it, L-O-R-D. You know what I'm saying? So those was basically, I'm sorry, I say L-O, my fault, L-A-R-D. Thank you for that correction, boo. Dog, I'm over here talking about lard, L-O-R-D, L-A-R-D, lard. But those were the only options that, you know what I'm saying, that, they had back in that particular day, man, of seasoning up those greens. Now, that poke salad, now I understand what you mean when you were saying um, dandelion greens. And I get that because, yep, they did used to eat that back in the days. Personally, I've never ate any. I used to hear my mom and them talk about it all the time. My aunties, they used to rave about that, man, talking about how my grandma used to go outside in the yard and she would pull that stuff up out of the yard and throw it into the pot, man. And then they would smash it with some crackling cornbread. Now, I'm not talking about the crackling cornbread that was, you know, that you might have that um, hog skin in and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Not that particular crackling cornbread. But whenever my grandma used to fry up chicken, um, the crackling that was used to be at the bottom of that pan, she would take that crackling, mix it up in some white cornmeal or whatever the case may be, and then she would bake that baby up in the oven, and then you would have that that hard edges on the on the cornbread. And I ain't talking about that yellow cornbread, no. I'm talking about white cornmeal. If y'all understand what I'm saying, I'm talking about white cornmeal. Yep, a lot of people probably don't even know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Y'all so used to y'all know when y'all hear the word southern in all these recipes, that's what y'all hear. But a lot of times, man, there's a lot of other southern dishes that's out here 
that you guys pretty much are not even aware of, you know what I mean? And just for instance, let's just say something like Brunswick stew. Whenever we think about Brunswick stew, some people can think about pork or even chicken, but originally Brunswick stew was was made with some wild gamey stuff. Some even had possums. Some some even had rabbits or whatever in their Brunswick stew or whatever. But that's just country fried folk. But yeah, man. Um that's that's what we used to do. And another thing too is um dealing with greens or any kind of greens, whether it be mustard greens, turnip greens, um, collard greens, mixed greens. They will always have the pot fixed up to where enough you would have enough broth in there, what they call pot liquor. They will call pot liquor. Now somebody mentioned hot water cornbread. When you had that hot water cornbread. Now, I like my hot water cornbread that was fried light, where the edges be all crispy, man. I'm talking like crispy in a mug. You could take that hot water cornbread and not dip it, but let it just soak into that pot liquor and, the, and them greens, man. Oh, my God. You talking about something good? And now, you know, some people do um, dumplings or whatever like that in the greens or whatever the case may be. What? You love to drink that pot liquor? You better drink that pot liquor. It's a sin not to. It's a sin not to drink that pot liquor. Come on here. Shoot. Somebody, if, some, if I see somebody throwing some pot liquor away in the sink, you know what I'm saying? I'm shaking my head, and I just don't know what's wrong with them. <laughs> because <laughs> you got to understand something. That pot liquor will change your whole life. It'll change your whole life, man. I swear to God. But here's the thing, though. A lot of people might not understand this too. If you have some greens and if you could take a strainer and strain out your, your pot liquor and put it into a bag, you could freeze that pot liquor and use it for the next time you cook greens because it's just flavoring. All you're doing is throwing flavoring down the sink. I'm, I'm telling y'all right now to listen to me. If you're cooking greens, do not throw the pot liquor in the sink or in the trash. Strain out the little bits and pieces, but keep the juice in a Ziploc bag. Freeze it. So the next time you go to cook you some greens or whatever the case may be, go ahead and throw that thing into the pot. It's just going to add more flavor on top of more flavor. You understand what I'm saying? So Southern cooking is what it's about. I can't tell y'all nothing. Z, I can't tell y'all nothing about, you know, California cooking or, you know, Louisiana cooking, but I can tell you something about some Southern cooking. You understand what I'm saying? Because this is all I know. I ain't going to act like I know anything else, but this is all I know. But anyway, let me go back up here and read some of these. Guys, don't come in with that for us. Let's see. Let me see who else is on here. I'm going to try to read these um, comments real quick, y'all. So I'm starting starting up here to where I stopped at. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where did I stop at? There we go. Get over here, Kamora. I love your videos. Thank you, Ms. Evan. I really appreciate it. Hey, Arlene. Arlene said, I love your oven-baked chicken and rice. Arlene, you better say it, girl. You better say it. That's some good stuff there, though, for real. You see, I made your turkey wings in the cream mushroom. How you showed us it was delicious. That's what I'm talking about, man. A lot of people... Now, here's another thing, too. I'm glad you brought that one up. All right. So, a lot of people, man, they comment about... Or they would say, if you're using cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of whatever, or anything that's in a can, you're not cooking. That's what some folk would say. They want you to sit there and make up your homemade cream of chicken, homemade mushroom soup, and all this other kind of stuff. I'm, I'm going to be honest with y'all, man. And, and look, I'm not trying to be funny or nothing like that. I'm not going out here, man, trying to make up no homemade cream of chicken, no homemade mushroom soup. If I can go to the store, man, and buy me a can of Campbell's, you understand? <laughs> it's, that's, what's going, that's what I'm going to get. I'm sorry. But, hey. It's just me. That's e I love easy cooking. I'm sorry. 
I just love easing cooking. You understand what I'm saying? And basically, in my opinion, in my opinion, my personal opinion, I don't see nothing wrong with anybody cooking with anything that's in a can. If that's your preference, that's your preference. Now, if you want to go out here and cook up cream of mushroom soup from scratch or whatever the case may be, just so so that you could get the experience of it, then go on and do so. Do so. Be my guest. But whatever you do, please don't criticize somebody else because they want to take an easy way out. You understand what I'm saying? Regardless of how it's done, whether you do it homemade or whether it's from a can or even from a box, it's still going to be good. Just like macaroni and cheese. Some people go out here and they buy the craft macaroni and cheese in a box. Why? Because they got... <laughs> They want to do something else other than just stand in the kitchen, whipping up, you know, roux and all this other kind of stuff to make up a cream sauce and then bake the macaroni and cheese and all the other kind of stuff. They just want to put it on top of the stove and get it popping, throw the cheese in it and whip it up, throw some seasoning in it and eat. You know what I'm saying? I don't have a problem with that. Some people want to just go buy some canned biscuits and pop them, you know what I'm saying, and put them on, on a sheet, sheet pan, throw them in the oven, and, and eat with the dinner. I don't have a problem with that. If you want to go in here and make homemade biscuits, I don't have a problem with that one either. We just got to stop being so critical of what people are doing in the kitchen. You understand what I'm saying? We got to be so critical of what people is doing in the kitchen. Now, if you're one that's going out here, man, washing your chicken with Clorox and dishwasher fluid or whatever, just let me know first before I eat in your house because maybe I don't want to eat in your house. <laughs> Y'all better stop playing. All right, man. Y'all better stop playing. Let me go back up here to these chats. Lord, have I, well, that was a good one, though, talking about that, um, that, um, Chicken and rice with that Campbell's, man. Thank you for bringing that one up. I've been wanting to say that one for a minute, so thank you. He said, hey, Mr. Mac, long time. Praise the Lord. I'm cooking box lasagna. That's what I'm talking about. You better get it. You better get it. Hey, G. Rich, I appreciate you even the more, my brother. Straight up, man. Y'all go check out my brother G. Rich over there. I'm telling you, man, that brother's over there cooking up some stuff. Go Cowboys. Ooh. Ooh. God, almighty Lord, have mercy. I'm not going to say nothing because the season is over with. Go Cowboys. It's two teams that I really hate. Cowboys is number one, and Philadelphia is number two. I just can't stand them too. Anything else that's dealing with the NFL, I don't have no problem with any other team, but I just can't stand the Cowboys and I can't stand Philadelphia. Uh, I'm just, that's just high. I'm sorry, y'all. Cooking with James. What up, Cooking with James? What's going on, bro? I hope all is well with you, Cooking with James. Man, get out there and make some videos, man. It says, I'm from Italy, but live in West Virginia. And still trying to make good greens. Say so still trying to make good greens. And you're from um, Italy. Man, you ought to tell us how to make some good pasta. Shoot, that's what I'm talking about. Tell us how to make good pasta. Yes, the air fryer. Okay, I'm going to get into that too. Let me get into that. Red pepper flakes. Let's say Pikesville, North Carolina. Oh, for real? That's where your dude is from? All right, now. You say you don't like the air fryer. What? You don't like the air fryer. Oh, my God. We're going to have to make you love the air fryer. I'm going to try my best to do something to help you um, enjoy the air fryer. It all depends on what kind of air fryer you got to. It says, uh, Vanel. Vanel, how you doing? He says, hey, everybody, I agree with the right on the greens. If it's not banana peppers or black pepper, I don't want it. There you go. Now, I could do the banana peppers. I can do the banana peppers, but I cannot do the green peppers or the tricolor peppers in my greens. I just can't do it. Let me check these greens real quick. But I just can't do it. I just can't do it. I might have to put some water in here, too. Yeah, let me put a little bit more water in these greens. Because as we cook, you're going to add some water to these things. Just 
add a little water to them. They cooking down. Come on in the room. I'm gonna add just a little bit more water and I'm gonna let these babies cook on. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all a little tip, man, of what I do as far as washing up these greens real quick. That'll be enough water. That'll be the last time I add water to this. The last time. I'm not gonna add no more water. I'm not adding no more to that. And it, yeah, it smell good. It smell good. It smell good. All right, so. Let me ask y'all a question real quick. Let me ask y'all a question. And I'm going to still go back and read these comments because I'm thinking I might have stopped that. Um, where did I stop at? Vanilla. I stopped at Vanilla. How many of y'all, and I got to start with India real quick. Let me see. Find out where I'm going to stop at. Alright, I'm going to stop at Fred. I'm going to read Fred's comments. But here's my question to y'all real quick. How many of y'all put, like, um, sugar in your greens? Y'all do me a favor while you're here. Do me a favor. Quickly, if you can. Go ahead and hit the like button if you haven't hit the like button. Alright? Another thing I would love for you guys to do. Um, there is a super chat on here. There's a super chat, super sticker, and also a super thanks. If you could, this would definitely help out with my channel, whatever the case may be. Go ahead and um, um, hit one of the super chats, super stickers, or even the super thanks. Anything that you would be able to, to help out with would surely be appreciated, and I greatly appreciate you guys. But how many of y'all put sugar in your greens? <laughs> And cooking with Miss Jonesy, look y'all, y'all go check out my sister before y'all do anything. I want y'all go check out the twin, Miss Jonesy. Check out cooking with Mrs. Jonesy. And do me a favor, go over there, see what she cooking. And I like that roast that sister cooked up. She cooked a mean freaking roast over there. And she didn't have to sear her roast. She made it known that you didn't have, you don't have to have, you don't have to sear your roast to, to have a good roast. And I mean, that sucker look good too. I ain't gonna lie. You need to give me a bigger plate because that little small plate, what it, it wouldn't have did me no justice. I need a bigger plate. But go check out Cooking with Mrs. Jonesy and subscribe to her channel if you can. All right. So, how many of y'all like sugar in your greens? And let's see what y'all said about that sugar. Let's say, let's go say a little sugar too, okay. And Cooking with James said no sugar. See that Cooking with James, that's why you need some help, man. You need some help with them with them greens, man. You need some help with them greens. You say, um, S. Green say no you say, I don't like sugar in my food. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Y'all don't like sugar in your greens? Okay, I'm a, I am got another sugar question. For real, for real. After this one. And you say, no sugar. Okay. And sexy is strong. My sexy is strong. That's a that's a killer name. My sexy is strong. Hello, Ray Mac. Found you from Maggie. Boy, I love Maggie the Substitute Teacher. Look, if y'all don't know who Maggie the Substitute Teacher is, we did a collaboration over there on her um, channel live. So I want you guys to please, if you can, either screenshot, um, well, just go check out Maggie, M-A-G-G-I-E, the Substitute Teacher. And you will see a um, live with me and her doing a collaboration. Matter of fact, I'm going to post it today. And hopefully you guys might be able to go check her out and support that sister. She is doing great things on her channel. So thank you, um, My Sexy is Strong, for joining us up in here today. And it's a John say, hello, Mr. Mac. I've been watching you since you started cooking on the cinder blocks. Whoa. Whoa, you come a long way, my brother. Keep up the good work. Hey, John, thank you so much, man. Hey, John, them cinder blocks, man. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to pull them suckers out this summer, man. I got to pull them suckers out this summer. There's nothing like cooking on cinder blocks. I don't care if you're cooking on a gas grill or 
grab a kettle or a pig cooker or a, um, a pellet smoker. I don't care what it is. It's nothing like cooking on an open pit, man. Oh, my God, man. It's, it's the best. It's the best. And I'm talking about regulating that temperature. You cooking if you could cook on a on a, um, a pit. I'm telling you, man. I love that pit. So, just watch this. Check out um, John this coming summer, man. You're gonna see more of that cooking on this cinder block pit. I promise you that, brother. I promise you that. I'm thinking about throwing a quarter hog on the cinder block pit, man. Just stay tuned for real. And thank you. Thank you for being a longtime family member. I appreciate you. And um, Mr. Morton say, no sugar for me. Wow. No sugar. A little bit of sugar, except if they bitter. See, that's why sugar, man, is needed. Just to knock some of the bitterness off of those greens. I'm telling you, no sugar in mine. What? Y'all don't play with the sugar? Sometimes I do. I put sugar in my meat sauce. You better tell the truth. All right, I'm new to this. How do I find it? Um, let me know what you're trying to find and I can help you out. Collets, just a pinch though. Yes, sugar, just a dash. I like sugar and cornbread in my greens. What? Did you say cornbread in your green? Let the juice hit that cornbread and get all soggy up. I will mess them things up. I'll mess them up. God told me that. Yes, that. Elizabeth. I like you already. Good combination. Yes, I put a little sugar in my greens. Learned from my neighbor who was from Birmingham, Alabama. Somebody's cooking up some good greens over there. Somebody really is. Rainbow, I do not add sugar to my greens. No, no need in my opinion. Well, I tell you what, I got to have. I got to have a little sugar in my greens because I don't like that bitterness of it. You know what I mean? And I hear what you just said. I like bitter. Some people like bitter. I don't like bitter. But I like good greens. I like enjoying my greens. That's why I put a little sugar in mine. That's Miss Barbara Walker in the building. Hey, Miss Barbara Walker, I love you, boy. How you doing, Miss Barbara Walker? How you doing? Young E916, I have both ways. Both can be fire. You, you better say it. All uh, right, let's see. No sugar. My mama raised me old school. Lord have mercy. My mama raised me old school. I swear to God, I seen this woman put sugar and dang near everything except for. I'm going to get to that except for in a minute. I'm just going to read these comments a little bit more. But I'm going to get to that except for. She put sugar in everything except for. All right. Peggy say, no sugar. I used to stop using. I used. I stopped using sugar. Okay, okay, okay. And cooking with pan say no sugar, no sweet food except desserts. See, that, a lot of y'all, why do y'all say that? If you put sugar in like sauces or greens, that the food is sweet. I guarantee y'all this. And this is a guarantee. This is a guarantee. Listen to what I'm finna tell you. If I put stream beans in your face, if I put... Um, what else I could put? Cabbage in your face and watch you sit there and eat them all up. And y'all sit back and say, I never eat no sugar. No, sugar. If you eat my greens, I mean, you eat my cabbage, if you eat my stream beans, if you eat my pinto beans, my black eyed peas or whatever, they all got sugar in them. See the eyeball? They all got sugar in them. But I guarantee you, you'll be sopping them things up. I didn't see people just mop the flow with these side dishes or whatever and they can say the same thing i'll never eat food with sugar in it but yet they tan it up you understand <laughs> they tan it up all right man let me go back a little sugar you don't make it sweet all right it takes out it takes the bitter out true that have you ever used smoked pigtails in your greens yep my mama and them used smoked pigtails but my mama broke me because I no longer eat pigtails. I used to eat pigtails. I no longer eat pigtails, pig ears, pig feet. I don't do none of them. Because I told myself when I leave my mama house, I'm no longer eating that stuff anymore. And I made a promise to myself that I wasn't eating that stuff anymore. Now, granted, if it's cooked right, like how my mama used to cook it, 
it was good, but I just refused to eat that stuff. So, would I season up my, my greens and stuff with it? Yeah, of course, but I won't eat it. I will. I certainly will. First time catching my live. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Welcome to Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Love and not hate. What, what, what? Boy, let me stop. Let me stop. You say rainbow. I don't eat bitter greens, so I don't need sugar for that reason, I guess. Need the bitter. Why you need the bitter? Boy, it's... Okay, I'm going to ask two questions. Let me go ahead and start the other question. The other question is this. Because y'all saying y'all need to... One person said they need the builder. If you need the builder... And I know what it means. I know what y'all saying. Have you ever tried to eat like dark chocolate out of the can? Have you ever tried to eat dark chocolate out of the can? Hershey chocolate. Let's just say Hershey cocoa chocolate. Have you ever tried to eat Hershey cocoa chocolate out of the can in its powdered form? In its powdered form. In its powdered form. Have you ever? Yuck, Ron. I'm in agreement with you. I'm in agreement with you, Ron. I'm in agreement with you. Now, I heard y'all say, like, how can I say, um, you want if you're gonna eat sweets, of course put sugar in it. I get that part. You know what I'm saying? I get that part. I do. I really do. I get that part. But when it comes to stream beans, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just got to have some in there, man. That's gonna take some of that greenness out of it, man. Cause I I, I, I don't know. It's just me. It's just me. Here's my other question dealing with sugar. Here's my other question. How many of y'all like putting sugar in your rice? How many of y'all do put sugar in your rice? I'm going somewhere else with this sugar. I swear to God, I'm going somewhere else with this sugar. I'm going somewhere else. How many of y'all put sugar in your rice? Miss Johnson say no. Miss Fugel say no. Barry gave it a thumbs up, so I'm assuming that's a yes. Nina say no. Ron say no. Angela say no sugar in my rice or grits. See, Angela, I was gonna, that was going to be my next question. That was going to be my next question, Angela. That was going to be my next question. Sometimes, <laughs> Miss Sherry say, hell no. Oh, no, it's butter or rice. Okay. You say, I put sugar in my rice. All right. Sugar and butter. Okay. He says, um, not regular sugar, but Asian inspired. Yes. You mean to tell me you're going to sit there and say, you don't put sugar in your food, but yet you'll put sugar in your... Okay. I get where you're coming from with that because Asian, Asian dishes does have sugar in them. But sometimes, man, I, okay, I get it. You, you'll have sugar in your Asian dishes. But not your southern dishes. We so biased when it come to food. <laughs> Love and I hate. Okay. Alan say. Um, let me see. Black. Black 68. Girl 68 say no sugar in my rice. Smashing my head. Um, Alan say no sir. That's a Carolina thing. Hey that ain't no Carolina thing. Because I'm from Carolina. And I don't eat no sugar in my rice. I'm sorry. I don't eat no sugar in my rice. Now, I do like my sugar in certain dishes, but not everything. I ain't going to lie to you now. It says, no, but I sprinkle some on my chicken and fry it. What? Sprinkle something on your chicken and fry it. I can see that. I can see that. Sweet and savory. I can see that. I can definitely see that. But when you fry it, does the sugar burn? That would be a good question to ask. That would be a good question. All right. Life say no sugar. Vanilla say I do not like dark chocolate at all. I know that's right. I know that's right, bro. I'm with you on that one. I don't do the dark chocolate. Milk chocolate? Yes. Dark chocolate? Mm -mm. Can't do it. Um, If you put sugar in grits, we're going to fight. I know that's right. Pepper say sugar in green peas. I know that's right. Shoot, 
put some sugar. You better put some sugar in my green peas. Rice pudding, I can see that. That's a must. That's the only way I can eat my rice. And, and rice pudding, that's the only way I can eat sugar in rice if it's rice pudding. So that's a yes for me on that one. Put a little sugar in my dry beans. That's, I can see that too. LL Cool J say, sugar on grits will make your taste flip. What? I don't know where he, I don't know. I can't do no sugar. Sugar on no grits. All right. Can you smell that smell? Smell that smell. Is that, that's my Kamora Lee. That's my Kamora Lee. Lord have mercy. We, we, I'm gonna, let me introduce y'all to somebody. Come here. Come up here. Come up here, climb, girl. Can you see? All right. This right here, introduce yourself. What's your name? Kamora. This right here is my Kamora Lee. Who am I? Papa. <laughs> every time this girl, every time this girl see me, y'all, listen, I am not lying. I swear to God, I am not lying. Every time she see me, she will always say this right here. That's my Ray Mac. She will say that every time. I got to get that beat. Every time she see me, she say, that's my Ray Mac. This is my baby right here. Ain't you my baby? Mm -hmm. Bye, come on, really. Wait a minute. This say, welcome to. Welcome to Ray Mac's kitchen and grill. Love in my head. What, what, what? Love in my head. Come on. <laughs> my baby. That's my baby. Let me set this timer one more time, man. I'm going to give this timer at least around about a good 35 minutes. And I'm going to turn my pot down to low a little bit. 35 minutes, that's all. After 35 minutes, some things going to be ready. So, that's my baby. Every time she see me, man, she'll say, that's my Ray Mac. Oh, man. I love that girl. I love that girl. All right. And it's somebody else I seen in here just a few minutes ago. Hold on. I think I seen old school soul food in here, if I'm not mistaken. Did I just miss it? Old school soul food. There he is. There you go. Listen, y'all. Do me a favor. If y'all don't mind. I want y'all to do this for me if you can. Go over and check out. Old school soul food. Now, I know some of y'all might be already subscribed to them or whatever the case may be. But if you haven't hit that red subscribe button yet and you don't know who I'm talking about, check out old school soul food and watch what the brother is doing over there. I'm telling you now, Chef Jeffrey, man, is genuine to the core. When I talk about, when I'm saying like old Southern style recipes, old school recipes, soul food recipes, down home good recipes, your grandma them used to cook back in the days type of recipes, your mama book, your mama cookbook that's locked up in the trunk, can't nobody find type of recipes. Y'all need to go over there and check out old school soul food. I'm telling you right now. The brother got a mean Listen what I'm going to tell you. A mean peach cobbler recipe that's made totally from scratch with that crust OMG. Then he has this pecan pie. A lot of people can't fix pecan pies. Either your pecan pie is going to be firm or it's going to be runny. One of the two. If you know how to fix a mean pecan pie, it's going to be right. If you really want to know how to fix a killer pecan pie, a killer sweet pineapple cake, a killer neck bone sandwich. I'm talking about everything. Go over there to Old School Soul Food and that brother will show you exactly how you should be burning in that kitchen. And he give you knowledge on top of what he's doing because he's experienced in this. Y'all listen to what I'm trying to tell you, man. All right. I love this dude. I don't care what nobody say. Hey, I can shout out a lot of people, but that's one brother right there. I'll shout him out every time I get the chance. I love that dude, man. 
So, Chef Jeffrey, I salute you, my brother. And you keep on doing the thing, man. Phew, one of my favorite cooks on YouTube. G Rich is in that pile. And there's a lot of other cooks that's on here that's in that pile. I love y'all, man. For real, for real. All right. So, here's the other question dealing with sugar. Somebody already done threw an um, uh, insight out there. How many of y'all like sugar in your grits? How many of you like sugar in your grits? Come on. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. How many of you like sugar in your grits? That's what I'm talking about. Sherry, thank you. You showing love. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you. Miss Frugal say, never, never had grits. You never had grits? What? Ron. I'm going to pause with Ron right now. I'm going to pause with Ron. Ron said he never had grits. All right, Ron. I'm going to show you something. I want you to do this real quick. Ron, I need you to go somewhere, man, and find you some grits. If you could, I'm going to show you something. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this for you right quick. Hold on, Ron. I got you. Ron, I got you. Let's see if I can find you something. Here we go. Let me come over here so y'all can see in the light. All right. Ron said he never had some grits. All right. Now, Ron, I'm going to make sure I'm getting this right. I'm, I'm going to look, I'm going to read your comment one more time. Let me stroll back up. I'm going to stroll back up because Ron, I'm going to make sure I read it right because maybe, you know, I ain't got my glasses on and I can see some things. I, I can see things wrong that time, you know what I mean? And Ron, I never had grits. I read it right. Okay. So Ron, check this one out. You never had grits. Now, if you go to the grocery store, you got options that you can buy. You can go get you some um, instant grits. Instant grits is just something you can cook on top of the stove or even in the microwave, man, with just a matter of minutes. You know what I'm saying? Follow the directions on the back, throw you some butter in it or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Some people jazz it up with cheese. Some people, you know, put um, whipping cream in it half and half. Um, some even put what chicken broth or something like that in it or whatever the case may be just to give it a nice little flavor you can season it up however you want some people stick with the typical salt some people stick with salt and pepper some people can go from putting like garlic powder to garlic to onion powder whatever the case you just basically make it your own you know what I'm saying some people can even do a alfredo sauce you know what I'm saying? Pick up some grits and just put the Alfredo sauce in the grits and mix that baby up. Y'all better do that. Y'all better put some Alfredo sauce in some grits and watch the world go round and round and round and... Okay, man, I'm tripping when it comes down to some grits. So, you got those options in grits where you can get instant grits, you can get stone ground grits and all this other kind of stuff, man. Grits is just something that is made from corn. You know what I'm saying? They grind up the corn or whatever the case may be, man. And they, you know, grinding meal or whatever. But anyway, you got a few different kinds of grits that you can get. You can get purple grits. You can get yellow grits. You can get white grits. You can get um, um, a multi-colored grits or whatever. There's a lot of grits that's out there in the market. You know what I mean? But my favorite all-time grits is going to be something like this. It's this moss. Um... Yellow grits, most yellow grits. Now these right here are not your instant grits. These take time to cook, you understand? Some people wash their grits before they cook them or whatever the case may be. Anytime you buy a bag of grits, sometimes the directions is always on the back, just like a box of spaghetti, pasta, or whatever. But these are, in my opinion, some of the best grits that's out on the market, right? And But these are local, these are local. These are prepared local here in um, North Carolina by a company called um, um, Buffalo Milling Company here in um, North Carolina. And I mean, man, they, they have some good products. Now, that's just one of the grits, yellow grits. And then I also like the white grits. You know what I'm saying? So these grits, like I say, they take a little bit longer to cook. 
But when you talking about mad flavor, instant grits is okay when you in a pinch. Instant grits is okay when you in a pinch. But if you want some real down home grits, man, to, to either go with any kind of meal dish or just eat them by themselves, get you some real deal grits. Now, like I said, they take a little bit longer to cook and you got to micromanage these grits. But at the end of the day, the result is going to be fantastic. I'm telling you the honest God truth. Sometimes you could take you some, you could take you a fried catfish with some Cajun sauce that you done made up and put the, fix you some grits up, put it on top of the grits and spread that Cajun sauce right on top of it. You're going to love yourself to death. You're going to thank you at the end of the day. You understand what I'm saying? But then again, like I say, if you really want some powerhouse grits that's going to turn heads, make you an Alfredo sauce, a a simple alfredo sauce on top of the stove boil you up some grits don't season the grits because your alfredo sauce is going to have a lot of flavor take your alfredo sauce and just mix them in with the grits and i'm telling you i'm telling you you're gonna lose your mind anybody who put their mouth on those grits are gonna lose their mind now this is ron listen to me this is how i like my grits listen to me I like taking eggs, I like taking bacon, I like taking sausage, and I like taking cheese. I'll crumble everything up. I'll crumble the eggs up, I crumble the sausage, I crumble the bacon. You know what I'm saying? I, I take the cheese and I put them inside them grits, baby, and I whip that bowl up. <laughs> and I'm give me some toast. I don't need no fancy toast. Just give me some toast like they used to do it back in the days. You remember how mama and them used to put bread on a sheet pan and then they would take dollops of butter and they would put it on every corner and plus in the middle like it's like a domino. You know what I'm saying? Like dominoes. That's the type of toast I would like. You understand what I'm saying? And then I would take all of my meats and just crumble it up into that bacon, I mean, into them grits and throw me some cheese in it, man. And I'm in heaven. <laughs> I'm in heaven. Boy, we could talk grits. We could talk grits. How you season your Alfredo sauce? That's a good question. This is what I want you to do. Now, I want you to do this. I want you to go to, on YouTube, and I want you to type in Ray Max Kitchen and Grill, or you could just say Ray Max Homemade Alfredo Sauce. I got a recipe that's on there. Showing you how I make Alfredo sauce. If you follow those steps, go and fix you some grits and you mix that sauce up with your grits. I want you to DM me on Instagram, Ray Max Kitchen or Grill, Kitchen and Grill, or DM me on Facebook, Ray Max Kitchen and Grill is all the same, and tell me how you like them. Or I want you to go and comment in that video, in that Ray Max, listen, Ray Max Easy Alfredo recipe, Alfredo sauce recipe. Comment and tell me how you like them in your grits. No joke. You will lose your mind. But we still on the sugar. Y'all like sugar in your grits? Grit bowl. DC, you better come on here. Make a video of that. Woo. I could do that. You know what? You know what? Let's do this. Let's do this. I could do that. Let's do this. I got greens over there. And I got chicken wings right there. Hmm. Could I? Or should I? All right, this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're gonna do. Y'all, y'all see, y'all about to make me ill. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. All right, so let's go in here real quick. Let's go in here. All right, y'all got me pulling stuff out the fridge. I don't like y'all. I don't like y'all. We got that. We got that. All right. So, 
We got that. We got that. Okay, we got that. Seasonings is not a problem. All right, so I want y'all to do me a favor real quick. I want y'all to do me a favor. Now, y'all got to choose. So y'all got to choose. I want y'all to let me let me know. Check it out. There's Parmesan cheese, right? And we're making an Alfredo sauce. There's chopped cheddar cheese. And we got some mozzarella cheese. I got all kinds of cheese. You understand? Kobe Jack cheese. You got to have stuff on hand. Now, what am I going to... I could use some... I could use some of this. I could use some of this. Or, I could use some of that. Let me see. If I'm going to put it in, I'm doing the greens. What'll go good with them greens and the chicken? I can sprinkle some Parmesan in there. Yeah. But, I'm going to leave that cheddar right there. I don't go with the mozzarella. I'm going to keep it basic. I'm going to keep it basic. I'm going to keep it basic. All right, so I'm going to keep it basic. All right, so y'all got me going places. I took y'all, y'all, y'all. The one for y'all. All right, so this is what we're going to do. So look here. I got whipping cream, okay? I got whipping cream. Got the Parmesan cheese. I got some garlic. Basic Alfredo sauce. All right. I got unsalted butter. Well, that's salted butter. Wait a minute. That's salted butter. Hold on, y'all. Let's see here. Hold on. That's salted butter. Oh, my God. Hold on, y'all. That salted butter. Something don't fit the narrative. Salted butter. I got to think twice about that salted butter. Why am I thinking twice about that salted butter? Hold on. What's up, boo? You say I'm gonna teach you how to cook. Yeah. You know what? Your papa got to make sure. Salted butter. I'm not cutting that. You're just gonna teach me how to cook. Y'all got me on that kick now. I got to do it. Papa. Well, wait a minute, boo. I'm gonna teach you how to cook. Wait a minute. You got me looking for something. Your papa's looking for something right now. His mind is on something else. Here we go. I knew that went crazy. See y'all? Now, I'm going to show y'all something real quick. That's what I'm like. If y'all cook like I do, if y'all cook like I do, everything got to be on hand. Ready to rock and roll. I don't make a lot of videos, but I eat like crazy. Sometimes I just hate pulling out cameras and all that stuff, man. I just go ahead and do it. All right, so I'm gonna I'm show y'all something real quick. So, got the cream, got the garlic, got the cheese. Look at this. I want y'all to, I want y'all to check this out now. I want y'all to check this out. You see these, right? I want y'all to check this out. That got my girl Maggie, the school teacher. Now look. I had to go to the deep freeze on that. So, what y'all got to do is this. Oh, before I do anything else, before I do anything else, I want y'all to do me a favor. Before I do anything else, let me get back over here and do this real quick. All right, this is what I want y'all to do. I want y'all to go and check out Maggie the school, Maggie the substitute teacher. 
I want y'all to really go over there, man, and show this beautiful woman some love. She's going, she's doing some lives over there, y'all, showing y'all how to cook some easy, easy, healthy. She's taking the 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 recipes that we do on an everyday basis, making them into a lifestyle type of thing where you can eat right and all this other kind of stuff and guarantee the food is going to taste phenomenal. Go over there and check out my girl Maggie, the substitute teacher. We did a collaboration and I guarantee you, y'all will not regret it at all. So please, pretty please, go over there and check out Maggie, the, the substitute teacher. I'm begging y'all, please. All right. So with that being said, with the Alfredo sauce for your grits, okay, for your grits, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to make some up. Now, I'm going to do another live. I'm going to come back on again probably tonight and do this live, right? Because y'all didn't ask for it, and I'm like, dang, man, I, I got the stuff on hand. But I want you to look at these butters real quick. You got unsalted butter. You got salted butter. Hold on, I'm sorry. You got salted butter, and you have unsalted butter. And you have that Kerrygold garlic and herb butter. Do y'all see that? Three different types of butters. You understand? Now, this is how I operate. And y'all probably don't, don't understand what I'm about to say. Okay? I don't use this in everything. Okay? There's, a, there's purposes for this. And then, then again, hey, sometimes she got to stay in the corner. You understand? I use this for almost everything. You know what I mean? Unsalted um, butter for almost everything. Okay? Now, I do use this for everything. If you cooking crab legs or something like that, hey, this is where you at. This is where you need to be. If you want to do, like, baked potatoes or something like that, man, or even on a healthy steak, Minus some of the salt that you might already put on your steak. This still be good and all this other kind of stuff, man. You'll just be lessening up your sodium intake dealing in some of your recipes. Now, when it comes down to the Kerrygold garlic and herb butter, y'all seen where I put this one out at. I put this one out. Listen, I'm going to show you again. I put this one out in the deep freezer. I keep this in the deep freezer, right? There's reasons why... It's reasons why I keep Kerrygold separate from these. Can anybody explain to me the reasons why I keep the Kerrygold butter separated from these two? Do anybody know? I'm, I'm wanting to see if anybody can answer this question. Why do I keep the Kerrygold separated from the unsalted and the salted butter? That's a trivial question. Trivial. This is a trivial question. If you can't get it and you might be stumped, and if you want to know the answer, put an X up. Put an X up. It's 75 people here right now. If you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and hit the like button. Come on. Cooking with Amanda, how you doing? She say, cause it's expensive. And then DJ say the garlic and herb component. And Gross say don't want it being used for everyday use. Liz put that X up because she want to go ahead and get it explained. Say a little goes a long way, okay? High qu higher quality. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to say these to y'all. Ain't nobody wrong. Ain't nobody wrong. The reasons why I keep this one separated from these two, I keep this one in the freezer because this sucker, a stick, can cost one stick costs the same as buying four sticks. Right? One stick costs the same as buying four sticks. Number two, these right here tastes way better than these right here, right? Number three, when people come over to my house and they say, yo, do you got some butter? 
Yeah, I got some butter. Look down there. I welcome them to these. But these right here, mm-mm, 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 mm-mm. No, this is not for everybody. This is not for everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Now, y'all might get me, y'all might say, I'm going to say something, but I'm going to say it in a way to where we all can understand it because I'm street and a lot of y'all are street too. I'm using this as an example, only as a, an example, right? So don't come at me, y'all. I know some people are going to be like, I know he didn't just use, use that as an example. Yes, I am. I'm about to use this as, a, as an example. Say, for instance, these are hemp, hemp products. These are marijuana strands. You got candy apple. You got candy crush. Or you got, you got sage on a hill. Sage on a hill is supposed to be the most potent of all. But yet the most expensive. This is how it is in the butter world, y'all. <laughs> I know that might not have been a good example, but I would rather let somebody use those versus using these. You know what I'm saying? And I'm just keeping it real. I'm just keeping it real. Now, each and every one of each and every one of these, like I say, they play, they play their own purpose. You know what I'm saying? They play it on their own purpose. Now. I can show you what I use this for, okay? What I use the carry gold for is crab legs. You know what I'm saying? I got crab legs. I use that carry gold um, garlic and nerd butter for, you know what I mean? And a lot of times, man, um, let's just say little, little, little. Let's just say you go in here and get you some shrimp. You got shrimp or whatever. I got bags of shrimp in here too. I got to make me some. Mm. I got some shrimp up in here. You use the carry gold for them for them shrimps, but I don't use carry gold for the other recipes. I just use the regular butter. I hope I explained that one good, right? But going back to what I'm saying, I only got about ten minutes on this pot, but. You could take you some grits, Ron, if you still here. Ron, you could take you some grits, whether they're yellow grits or they white grits. And you could basically, man, make up some some um, Alfredo sauce. And I got a recipe that's on YouTube that'll show you how to make easy Alfredo sauce. Heavy whipping cream, garlic, minced garlic, some Parmesan cheese. You know what I'm saying? Some butter. And then from there, you could take you some chicken broth if you like. If you don't have chicken broth, I mean, you could use some, some milk. Whole milk will work. I hate to say this too. 1% milk will work. Go, go fish. And you could take your seasonings. You could use whatever seasonings you like. Um, salt, pepper, Cajun seasoning. If you want to throw a little bit of Obey seasoning in it, why not? You know what I mean? Throw you some garlic and herb seasoning in it or whatever. Um, throw you some parsley in it for color. You could use fresh parsley. You could use um, dried parsley if you don't. You know, if you want to make it a little savory, you could throw thyme in it. You could throw rosemary in it. You could do anything to it. Just take a little. If you want to throw a little cheese in it, you know what I'm saying? Throw a little cheese. I wouldn't say throw a lot of cheese in it. Because in my opinion, it'll just overpower the grits, you know. So once you got your Alfredo sauce made, even if you want to take little pieces of onion and put it inside your Alfredo sauce and let it get fragrant with the onion and smell or the taste, you can take your grits and um, cook them up. Once your grits is cook them up, cooked up, you don't have to season your grits on top of the stove if you're using the Alfredo recipe um, because all of that is going to be seasoned anyway. All you have to do is basically just cook your grits on top of the stove um, and then make your Alfredo sauce and just mix your Alfredo sauce up with the grits and bam, you got a powerhouse tasting grits right there, I'm trying to tell you. No joke. But anyway, anyway, say I love butter, never use these light spreads. No, no, I'm with you, Liz. Don't 
use the light spreads. Oh, Lord. I, margarine, I stay away from margarine. Now, I don't know if a lot of y'all like me. I like making my own butter when, I ain't going to say my own butter, but I just like making my own flavored butter. And that's why I keep a lot of butter with me. Um, I make my own garlic and herb butter. And when I do make my garlic and herb butter, wait a minute, baby. Come on, when I down. do make my garlic and herb butter, butter teach me how to cook. Um, right now, I do the clarified butter. Right you know what I'm saying? But when you using margarine and you using that spread, you can't make clarified butter out of that stuff because it's it's water, if that makes any sense. And it's not going to do you any justice. It's not going to do you any good at all. At all. At all. So, Beverly, how you doing, Beverly? How you doing? So, I wanted to say, oh, one more thing. This is what I got right here in the air fryer. I'm going to cook these in the air fryer. So... I got some wings that I let marinate, and I'm going to cut the wing tips off of these things and trash them. I'm trashing the wing tips because I don't like the wing tips. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pat these. I'm going to cut them down into wing dings, and I'm going to pat them dry. And, of course, make sure that all the feathers and stuff is gone off the wings. But majority of the feathers would be on the wing tips, and I don't do nothing with the wing tips. So... Um, I seasoned these up with, let me show y'all what I did marinate these with. And you're not going to use a whole lot just to marinate them. Because that's extra flavor right there, y'all. I let mine marinate for two days. Don't judge me. I know you could do it for 48, well, I mean 20, 12 hours or whatever. But I like mine sitting over for two days. And I keep mine in the fridge, of course. But I just take them out whenever I'm getting ready to um, cook them. But this is what I use to marinate my um, chickens with, you know. I use some of this regular Cajun seasoning, all right? And then I use some garlic salt. These are the only two things I use, all right, to marinate those wings. Whenever I'm marinating chicken, with regardless of what it is, I always do this so that the chicken can get flavor for one inside of the meat and either if I bake it or if I fry it if I air fry it if I bread it up or whatever it's still going to have flavor because a lot of times we could buy chicken from the store and we could clean it but that chicken just don't have got no flavor on the inside you know what I mean at least take the time out to marinate your chicken for a day or two I always do two days because I want the maximum amount of flavor for um for my chicken but somebody say don't don't trash them that's true i won't trash them i will trash them but sometimes i can use these chicken wings i mean the wing tips for making like chicken broth or something like that you know what i mean and i got a phone call baby brother calling me right now i'm gonna call him right back but look this is what i want y'all to do if y'all don't mind i'm gonna ask one more question how many of you guys marinate your chicken before you cook it? How many of y'all marinate your chicken before you cook it? And then I'm going to leave it right there. And I'm going to have to go in here and finish these up. And, um, dog, boy, some grits would probably would be good. Grits and greens and air fried chicken. That's a crazy combination. That's a crazy combination, ain't it? Grits and greens. <laughs> Southern living, baby. Southern living. But anyway, how many of y'all um, marinate your chicken before you cook it? And if you just do it just like this with the McCormick's garlic salt and some Cajun seasoning, I don't care what kind of Cajun seasoning it is, and just get your chicken and put it in, in, a, in a container, submerge it over some water, and just add you some some, some of those seasonings, you can't go wrong. And you don't have to. You really don't have to measure the seasoning. Just let your eyeballs do it for you. Let the ancestors tell you when to stop. <clears throat> so Miss Lady said, yes, always. And Sherry said, it's crazy, but it sounds so good. It's crazy, but it, it is good, girl. It, it do sound good, don't it? Grits. Greens. And the grits will have... 
that that flavor because doing it with the Alfredo flavor, dang man, I'll be a fool because I'll be mixing greens up with some grits. Lord have mercy, Jesus. I probably have the stomach that I'll probably be in the bathroom all week long after that. Grits and greens with that Alfredo flair. I would lose my dang on mind. Say, no, I wish I had. <laughs> you wish you had time to. You do got time to. You do. Time is everything. Time is of the essence. Sometimes. And when I do, it smells so good when it's still in the fridge. You better speak, Liz. My brother, if you use imperial margarine, uh-oh. It tastes just as good as the real bug. You you know what? You right. You right. You right. You you right. You right. I can I can go with that. I can I can go with that. You know what I'm saying? I could go with that. I really could. I could go with that. I could go with that. The only thing I hate about margin is when I put it in that pan. Say for instance, like you're gonna do you're gonna blacken. I'm just say, you, say for instance, you're gonna blacken a salmon, or you're gonna blacken um, a fish, or something like that, right? The time you heat it in that pan, that skillet, you're gonna see the water to butter ratio, and that's the thing that turns me off. You know what I'm saying? And it's good for healthy eating. Now, substitution wise, as far as you eating good, you better get that margarine. You better get that spread or whatever because that, that is way more better or healthier than these. Off gate. Off gate. Off gate. And I encourage anybody to use margarine versus these. If you're on a health diet or even if you have high blood pressure, hypertension, or whatever the case may be. Even if you have hypertension, high blood pressure, or whatever the case may be, and you, you're on a restrictive diet, please stick to your diet. Don't stray from it whatsoever. Get Stay away from the sodium content products and just do your body right. You know what I'm saying? Because we want you here longer. We, we really do. We want you here longer. We don't want you to, you know, croak out, man, because... You love good food and you got to have the sodium and all. You ain't got to have it. You just got to do your heart some justice. And there's nothing wrong with that. All right, so here we go with these greens, y'all. Look. Timer is on. Ooh. So, smoked sausages, like I said. I don't like my greens all big and stuff like that. And if you can see with all the steam, sausages, got some of them country ham bits in there, and southern living with some of that broth, Lord have mercy, that broth right now, that broth, this I can tell if my green's good, let me, let me grab me a spoon, let me grab me a spoon real quick, and get this, get a taste in here and I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all go. Cause I'm gonna get in here and I got to season up this chicken. And think about making me some grits. You got me over here about ready to make some grits live. Come over here and let this thing blow off. Hold on. No swiper, don't swipe, swiper. No swiper, don't Lord, swipe. Lord, have mercy. Ooh. Ooh, that pot liquor. If the pot liquor good, man, I'm about ready to grab me some bread and dip it in that damn pot. Boy, I better stop. Ooh, y'all, let me taste these things. I got to taste them while y'all here. Hold on. Hold on. Let me do this. Grab me a measuring cup. Because I ain't used to putting none in a big old bowl. Let me grab me a measuring cup. And I just want to take some with some of this ham meat. Put in that measuring cup. 
Then I want to take me one of these smoked sausages and put them in that measuring cup and see how this tastes. That pops up in everything. Don't let the sugar fool you. Don't let the sugar fool you. All right, so I didn't want to get no big dish, y'all. Because I feel as if it wasn't a need. So I got my little measuring cup, right? There's my greens with smoked sausage. You know what I'm saying? With the little country ham right there. If you can see it. Right? All I want to do is just get us a taste. I'm going to start with the greens first before I bust down that sausage. Mm-hmm. And it's seasoned now. It's seasoned. Hold on. Let me get in here. Hold on. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cherie. Yes. You're going to love these. The green. That sausage, man, did something to this. It did. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. That cornbread would just knock this out of the park. Lord, some cornbread. If somebody say hot water cornbread, you gonna eat your cornbread? Hot digger than mud. Oh, we. Cornbread. All right, let's do it. Sheree, if I make some cornbread, you wanna eat it? You gonna eat your cornbread? Yellow cornmeal. I don't want that. I don't want yellow cornmeal. I don't want the yellow cornmeal. And cattails. That's it. That's the one I want right there. That's the one I want. Cattails, baby. I don't want no yellow cornmeal. All right. Let me get in here. Keep everything on hand. Mm. I'm gonna get a tripod. Y'all might have to stay with me on this one because I might make me some cornbread. You heard me. All right, y'all gonna, let me get me something to hold this thing up. Come on, cause we finna make us some hot water cornbread. We gonna make us some hot water cornbread. Yeah, we go. Yeah, we go. Let me get me a tripod. Come on in the room. Come on. Hey, Patricia Brown, what up, Leah? Hey. What's going on, Leland? How you doing, Lily? Yes, Lord. Won't he do it? What, what did she just say? Ain't he gonna keep walking when she say it? Good way to handle that. Sheree, cut your TV on. Cut your TV on, Sheree. Sheree, cut your TV on. Let me get my pot. I'm gonna make me some hot water cornbread. All right, John. We finna make some hot water cornbread. Let's do this real quick. Oh, come on in the room. Come on in the room. Jesus, he is my 
y'all down here. Come on, get y'all down here. Uh -uh. I don't need that one. She too big. Uh. Oh, y'all act like y'all don't do that. Some of y'all probably don't do that. I can have some of my cast nines in the stove waiting on me. You feel me? I have my cast nine waiting. And she seasoned that. Now that's a seasoned skillet. You see that that sheen? That means she is seasoned. You, <clears throat> that's what a seasoned skillet look like right now. That's how it look. I'm gonna cut my stove on. Come on, you Come on. Put some vegetable oil in this pan. Just enough. About right there. I got it at the midway point. But I just wanted to cook my, my, my cornbread to where I'm gonna have those crispy edges on it. And I got my stove on medium high heat. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jack it up just a little bit. I want you to see what I'm talking about. If you could see. If you could see. Hold on. I'm trying to do this thing, y'all. Alright, right there. Right there. Okay. Y'all got that? You got it? Okay. All right. So now, what I'm just gonna do, what I's gonna do, if I can get you back down here, hold you down, cause we finna hurry up. Come on. All right. So hold you down here. So this is what we got. We got some yellow cornmeal. This is what I'm not gonna use. But I'm gonna use this right here. This is white cattails corn meal. I love this stuff, y'all. So white corn meal, yellow corn meal, white corn meal, yellow corn meal, hot water cornbread. Do y'all feel me? Told you. Come on. See, let me share something with you. Let me turn this thing around. See, that's country. That's country. That's country. That's country. White cornmeal, yellow cornmeal. That's country, y'all. Everybody ain't country like that. You feel me? So, I'm going to hook this baby right on up. You feel me? So, let us go ahead and get us some um, sugar. Put us some sugar up in it. Sugar. Sugar, sugar, and more sugar. Sugar, sugar, and more sugar. Sugar, sugar, and more sugar. Then I'm gonna get me some salt. I can go up in here in this cabinet instead of grab my salt bag, my spice bag. All right. And I'm just gonna put a little flour, just a little flour in that cornmeal, just a little bit, not a lot. Grandma flour. I could put an egg in it just so it can bind together, but shoulda, coulda. I could do an egg, I don't have to do an egg, but you know, just for purposes, I, you know what, just because I can, I'm gonna do one egg. Hot water cornbread, you ain't got to use an egg, but it'll hold a little bit just so that when you put that batter in that grease, it won't spread, you know what I'm saying? If y'all know what I'm talking about. I don't know if you, a lot of y'all know what I'm talking about when you put the batter in the grease, that batter will, if it ain't tight, it'll just spread on out. Come on in the room. Should I measure this? Boy, you better go about your daggone business. You know daggone, well, you ain't about to sit here and try to measure nothing, man. That is out 
and it's not gonna happen. All right, so mm, hot water. I had to think for a little bit. So this is what we're gonna do for the hot water. I'm grabbing me a container. I'm gonna fill this baby up with some water. And what am I about to do with this water, y'all? What am I about to do with it? Let me see if anybody gonna tell me what I'm about to do with this water. What am I about to do with this here water? You right, I'm gonna throw this bastard in the microwave. Give it two minutes. Let it heat on up. Now, come on down here. Come on down here. Switch. All right, so there's my bowl. Opening up this bag real quick. All right. So I'm gonna put a little bit of white cornmeal in it. I ain't gonna measure that, y'all. Please forgive me. It's just a little bit. I ain't gonna do a lot. I'm not gonna do a lot. I'm just gonna put just a little flour. Not too much flour. Not too much. Just a little. That's gonna help with the binding too. Then I just want to put a little salt. Just a little salt. Pinch of a salt. Alright. Now I want to take an egg. Uh, I got to hurry up and temper this thing before that. I don't want that hot water cooking my egg. Hold on. I'm just gonna crack it in here, make a dome. All right. Now what I'm gonna do? I got my water hot. She, she's up there. Find me a whip. I need some sugar. Put me some sugar in it. How you gonna put sugar in hot water cornbread? Yeah, man. Just a little bit. That's it. That's it. And I want to go ahead and A little bit at a time. A little bit more. Like I said, I ain't got to have a lot. Just a few would do. Get all this loose flour up in the crevices. Don't want to overbeat. And I'm gonna take this spoon. Just wanna gather everything down. This is about good. See that? See how loose that is? Now, even though that this got egg in it. A lot of people be scared to taste it. I would be too. Layla. 
Get your tablet and sit up. Alright, so here we go. To the grease, to the grease, to the grease, to the grease. And where we at? I want it to be, oh, that's, that's high. That's high. Let me turn it down a little bit. Right now she at 375. I'm going to show y'all what happened at 370 something, all right? Watch what's going to happen. Listen, this is why we got to be careful. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you. Watch what happened now. Watch what happened. That's all you got to do is this. That's all, that's all you gotta do, baby. Yeah, yeah. That's the whole bowl. That's the whole bowl right there. My baby love you. Some cornbread. You gonna eat your cornbread? You gonna eat your cornbread? That's because I put that one in layers. Girl, that's what they call it. Fried cornbread. I get a banana in there. You ain't about to eat up my bananas, girl. And I got to do this health kick thing. Please, just one banana. They gonna get one. We got a fried cornbread going, baby, yeah, yeah. That'll be my taste tester right there. Mom, what's he Me? What's he doing? Me? Mm-mm. Who? -mm. Talking about this piece of cornbread. You gonna eat your cornbread? You daggone right I'm gonna eat my cornbread. Who said you gonna eat your cornbread? Nobody. All right, baby, love you. Drive safe, man. Yeah, Lord, that mug is golden. God, they got me in here making some cornbread to dip something in that in my greens. That's my taste tester right there. I'm gonna taste that one. See where we at. I got a five meal pan. I'm almost done with that, y'all, already. Got the infamous pie pans on deck.
Ну, я бачу. Эвер. Cut the stove off. That's done already. See how fast that cook? Y'all thought Ray Matt was a joke. The boy ain't no joke. Be careful with that grease though. Man, I don't want to poke no hole in it. Yes, sir. You gonna eat your cornbread? That's as country as you can get it right now. Can't get no country in that. No measurement. And I'm gonna say that grease. Alright, my stove is off. So in the meantime, I encourage you to what we got, y'all. Hot water cornbread. See that? See how quick that was? Let me get y'all down here real quick. This is how we do it in the country. This is how we do it right here in the country. That's hot water cornbread. You feel me? And the crunchy edges, listen. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Now. <laughs> come here. Now, I can come here and try this one more time. And this time, give me a piece of that cornbread. Mmm. I have so damn good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. 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 Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Wait a minute. This video ain't done yet. I gotta do one more thing. Before y'all leave. One more thing. Uh-oh, lead and water. The lead and water. Gotta be careful with that. Get some of this pot lip. Get some of that pot lip. That pot liquor with that hot water cornbread. See that? That's how it's done right there. That's how it's done. You gotta let it soak for a little bit. Break you a piece off. Break you a piece. Grab you with some of that liquor and that cornbread. Put it in your mouth. Lord, how much did you do? Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, don't get no better than this. Mm. Y'all gotta make a video. Mm -hmm. That's not getting trash. So look, hot water cornbread. Ooh. The foam almost went down. In that pot. Hot water cornbread with some greens, with smoked sausage, country ham, seasoned down to perfection. Now I'm finna get in here and get these in the air fryer. Now I'm finna eat something up. So thank y'all, man, for sitting here with me. I wanna say thank y'all so much for checking out Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. I love you guys. I got to go. Peace, love and not hate, love somebody.
and hate nobody. Be good.